guys welcome to another tutorial here we are going to learn about android grid layout we are going to create an application with two columns and two rows when any of the item is clicked within the grid layout we are going to open a new tv team and display the name of the clicked item so let's get started this is a fresh android studio project that we are going to use i'm going to start by creating a new theme for activity the reason I'm creating is because I don't need action bar, so I'm going to create a theme with no action bar. I'm going to assign it to our main activity. And then within activity main, I'm going to give this one background color, color primary. I'm going to give it orientation as vertical and sum to be five. I'm going to have my relative layout i'm going to match palent for the width and the height i'm going to have zero then i'm going to give it weight of two and within it i'm going to have linear layout match palent lab content and i'm going to give it orientation as vertical then i'm going to have an image view here I'm going to give it 80 as the width and the height 80. So I'm going to have, I have already downloaded some images. I'm going to leave them in the, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can go and download them. So I'm going to add them in my Drawable folder. Then I'm going to reference grid. Then I'm going to have my image view here. Another text view here, lab content, lab content, text. I'm going to grid layout tutorial. Let this on lab content so that I can center it. Center in palette, trim. Then this on gravity, center. Can give this one top margin, eight. And the size of the text to be 28. The color, I'm going to change it to white. Then I'm going to add my grid layout here. Grid layout, I'm going to have much palette, zero. And the weight I'm going to give it is the remaining three. I'm going to have its background here. If I have background, let me set column count. I only need two and low count two. Background. Let me create background. New trouble resource. I'm going to call it BG. This is a shape. So I'm going to have Android shape to be rectangle. Then I'm going to give it solid. Cara Android weight. I'm going to have corners here. I'm going to have bottom. Top is 45. Top 45. Bottom going to have zero. Bottom going to have zero. So I'm going to have my BG as the background color of my break. So BG. Then within the grid layout, I'm going to have card views. So me, let, let me add support library for the card view. So I'm going to have card view. So card view, card view. 
then the card we should have weight column weight one and low weight to be one i'm also going to give it a radius Fifteen. Let me give this one padding to be fifteen, and this one I'm going to give it margin ten. Elevation I'm going to give it four. Width height I'm going to give it zero. And wait, I'm going to give it zero. Within the card, I'm going to have linear layout, match parent, lab content, orientation should be vertical, and I'm going to give it sum of three. Within this one, I'm going to have an image view. I'm going to give it 50 and this one to 15 and I'm going to give the source as users. This should be weight. I'm going to give it 2. I'm going to have text view here. Lab content, lab content. You can give this one margin of 15. And this one start margin 15. The text here I'm going to say users. Size I'll give it 16. That's all. I'm going to copy this card four times. Then I'm going to learn and see what we have. Gradual build learning. Application installing. Launching. Great, we have our four cards here, and each card has an image and text. So, we are going to have each card to have different image and text. So, this should cover it one. Then, in the next card, I'll have the sources add users, and then I'm going to have add users. The third one, I'm going to have reports, and the text should be reports, and the final one should be settings, and the text should be settings. I'm also going to add on click listener for each, so this I'm going to assign an ID of users. ID to be add users ID reports and this one I'm going to give ID settings each one I'm going to set on click listener so we have card view users card view, add users, card view, reports, card view settings. So I'm going to have users, find view by id, allot id dot users,
Second one is add users. The third one is reports. The fourth one is settings. Then I'm going to add on click listener users dot set on click listener new view click listener the same to reports settings and add users so add users reports and settings so I'm going to add four activities so that when you click add users you're going to launch add users activity and the same should happen to the rest so empty activity this is users I'm going to add another one empty activity add users I'm going to add another one for reports. And the final one for settings. I'm going to change the text in each activity so that you can know which one was clicked. So relative left, I'm going to have a text view here, text, this is add users, this is text, then text size, I'm going to have 18. And I'm going to send tight. I'm going to do the same. This is reports. This is settings. And this is users. So when I I go back to my main activity when I click users. I'm going to start activity. New intent. I'm going to move from main activity to users activity. The same. This one I should go to add users activity. Reports activity. And finally to settings activity so let's learn our application and see what you have application is starting launching wow we have users add users reports and settings when we tap on users, we have users, add users, we have add users, reports, we have reports, and finally settings, we have settings. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, remember to subscribe for more tutorials.